My dear friends in Christ, this second Sunday of Advent, we have the appearance of St. John the Baptist. St. John the Baptist was the precursor of the Lord. He was the friend of the bridegroom. He was the first main prophet to appear in nearly 200 years. And people came to him in the desert, in the wilderness. John must have been a remarkable figure. People, of course, had the scribes and the Pharisees, but they didn't go to them. They went to John. He was living in the desert, living an austere life, but he was preaching God's word. He was inviting the people to repent and to prepare the way of the Lord, to repent and to believe in the kingdom of God, which was at hand. And they came. It speaks of a twofold desire, the desire of God to draw people near to him through this prophet and the desire of the people to draw near to God. We sometimes hear people say, repent, and we feel that we are being judged. But the invitation to repentance is an invitation to encounter God's mercy, to return to Him with our whole heart and all our being. Last Sunday, we heard the Lord say, stay awake. It was a way of inviting us to be vigilant and to guard our hearts and to be attentive to His presence. Now He invites us not just to guard our hearts, but to open our hearts to his mercy and love. And he used John the Baptist as his instrument. We might think of John the Baptist in a way as a severe figure. He doesn't mince his words. He calls a spade a spade. He calls the Pharisees a brood of vipers. But the people rejoice in his saving word because his word prepares the way for the encounter of the one who truly saves. It invites people to prepare for the coming of the Messiah in time. How often the Lord Jesus wants to come into our hearts, especially in the Holy Eucharist. But do we receive him worthily? Do we prepare our hearts? Do we make room for him in our lives? Do we meditate on sacred scripture to prepare for this Christmas? Let us renounce our sins and prepare for the one who truly saves us.